Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, Horton Bonsai. Today's video, I've got the Zescalonia in the workshop. All of the one side is dead. It needs a lot of carbon. And I want to wire and create something out of the left hand side of the tree. Your left, my right. <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll bring you in, give you a look at it before I start because I need to clean all the old bark off and see where we're going with it with it this is the better front this is the apex I know it's at the front but if we went to the back got rid of all that it does look alright at the back but this is the wider base with the better features so I'm using this as the front like I see, I'll bring you in, give you a quick spin of it, and I'll start cleaning all this dead bark off, and we'll see where the live is and where the dead is. Then I'll try my hand at carbon, so it'll end up like a Shia Pite. But who dares wins? Let's have a look. So this is the Escalonia. Like I say, all this side's dead down here, but we've got some nice movement. I'd say about there for the front is the widest base. Then we've got all this movement in here. We'll come out the back. This branch is too low, so this is coming off, and it's not as interesting as the other side. So I'm picking that as my front. This is the new leader. Oh, I wonder what we can make of it. It's Friday night. So, if I do use the power tools, I don't condole using them while you're having a, a beer or two. This was dug up three, four years ago. And I've just let it grow. It's lost all of its branches once. So, this is all new growth in the last couple of years. Because there was someone here, and this is where it died. I got these off of a good friend of mine, Tommy. Oh, Tommy, shout out, lad. So, I'm going to remove all these, because them's too low. We don't need them. Then we'll scrape off all the old bark, see where the live veins is, and we'll go from there. So the first thing I want to do is remove these lower branches because they're too low. So as you can see, this is where it was cut and snapped to try and create the natural shari or gin, whatever you want to call it. I'll be using these branches in the design. This is the first branch. And I don't think I need that one there. So I'm just eliminating what I don't want. So, if this is our front, this is going to be the first branch. We've got a branch here, one to come round into this side, another little one at the top. We've got two smaller branches here to create the pad up onto this left hand side. One there, I don't need that one there, so I'll get shot of that. So that's them eliminated. We'll come up the apex. We'll have one there, one round in the back, and we'll create something out of that. So that's pretty much 
what I want to get rid of at this present time. Now I need to clean all this dead wood, which is going to take a while. So what I'll do is I'll speed the video up. If you don't like it, just skip it. I'll see if I can find a new song for you. But all I'm going to be doing is just scraping away till I hit some green. And I know that's the live bit. Because all of this is dead. So it all wants cleaning. So I'll do all that. And we'll see what we're going to carve into there. So I've just got my little scraping kit out from Amazon. And I'm just going to carve away like that. I know I said I'll see you soon, but I thought I'll bring you in and show you it. I'm just going to work my way around the tray like that until I hit the cameo layer. And then I'll stop. As you can see, it's all dead till we get there. That's where it's green. So I know all this is dead in here. This is actually going to split down this trunk. I don't know if I want to pull that off though. Mm. So I'll just keep working away like this and I'll come back. She galvanized me. So I found all the dead, it's from here. I didn't carve that bit. Me sanding just blew up and took it off there. But that should uh, grow back naturally. Should be okay. And we'll go around to this point here. So all this is dead. I've got wood lice all over. I think I'll carve this bit out of here to try and open it up. And we'll have a look to see what's happening there then I need to get rid of this trunk right chunk I need to get rid of this chunk here but the front is about there so when you see all this movement and this is the tree on the left hand side of the right left hand side of the tree basically so what I'm going to do is I want to have a get rid of, the, rid of that wood light carve out of here and I'll see what it looks like she galvanized me steady like steel back on my feet living for the thrill again loving for another day she satisfied me gave me what I want just what we need never to Far away, loving for another day, but she asked for it. 
that's the first bit of the carving started but my gremlins ran out and it doesn't fit on that one over there so I'll have a charge up and we'll revisit it tomorrow after work powerful enough so I had to crack the big boy out just to get it hollowed out in there as the cordless one wasn't powerful enough but I think that's about pretty much it for this block carbon on this and my well, initial carbon there's a little bit to do on here which I'm just going to split away because this part of the tray is dead and this is alive so I'll get this cleaned up I'll put it on the bench and I'll have a little bit play with that but the place is a mess so I'll get it cleaned up and we'll come back so there's a look at the, the carbon for now I need to get the sander on and try and get the towel marks off. I think this is dead in here. Scratching green there, so there's the live beans. I need to do something with this top bit. I might wait till it rots, then just split that bit instead of using the the towels, like I've done with that one. I've just split that one because it's live down here and I don't want to split that to kill that well it's looking all right up there now what I'll do is I want to clean it all off with a sander and I've got some new little bits to try put some uh, grows in she galvanized me All dead in there, that's the live bean. So I'm just scraping off the old bark so I can lime sulfur it and protect the wood because Escalonia's rot like crazy. Steady as I go, just cleaning the old bark off. I'm about done with the dead wood. Like I said, it just wants the sand and the burn. I'll just keep nibbling away at this. Now I just need to run a wire brush over it to try and remove the towel marks. What I'm going to do is drop some super glue on the back of here to keep the bristles together and it'll last longer. So I'm just going to add a bit of super glue if it comes out. I'll let that dry for a minute, then we can use a wire brush. She galvanized me. She 
a quick look Aaron I'm not going all the way through the bottom like I guess yeah it's only its first carbon we've got a piece of dead in there live grains up there this is all dead we've got that live grain feeding this branch and we've got this one up at the top of the tree So I'm just going to add a few quarts of lime sulphur on the dead wood just to help protect this because the wind is coming soon. This will be a boring process. I'll just be dabbing it on, brushing it and getting in all the nooks and crannies. Up there, hell on. So what I'll do is I'll get this done, all the lime sulphur and all the bits, then we'll come back and have a look once it's dried, then we'll get some wire on the tree and put a rough styling into the tree. It's had its first quarter lime sulphur, so I was thinking about getting some wire on. I don't think these are going to make it here at the back, because I've gone through the live veil. I scratched it away, and there's nothing there. It's severed. Only chance I've got if there's anything there, but I'm still going to wire them for now. And if they die off, I'll just cut them off. And we'll create our dead wood there. Then we'll just have the two live veins at the front. So what I'll do is I'll get some wire on. Then we'll come back and have a look. She galvanized me. on now what these branches do make it if they don't I can just chop them off and restyle the tray later on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this branch so this is our front and I want this to come down in there Waiting away a little bit. We'll put
this is just a basic styling. It's not going to look like a finished tree. No way there. Like There's a bit of light there. I'll right, put a bit more wire back on there. She galvanized me. Here's a quick look at it. Just its first style of mine, so it looks a bit rough. <laughs> the live veins really severed off with all the dead wood. I'll be putting more line sulfur on that, but I'll do it later on. Off the camera. So what I'm going to do is add some lava rock, red lava rock, so the contrast against the, the dead wood when it does turn white will look good. Just trying to find something. Ah, there it is. Found it. Like I said, it's got a few years left this. It's only its first initial styling since I've had it. And it's carbon. So the red lava rock sets it off much better. Another quick spin before I end the video. Back to the front. Okay, that's it for this video on first island of the Escalonia and the carbon. Which it hasn't turned out too bad. We'll just have to see how it grows now. I hope them two survive in the back. It looks like it's still connected, but I'm not sure. But I don't think that'll be a major loss if I lose them, is I can bring these branches down into here. If I do lose them, then we'll just have the two VM tree, which might be all right. But like I say, we'll just see how it grows. So as always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da, folks!